Welcome, David, back to the co-working of the group. Ah, hola. Back from San Francisco, tell us about a bit about this, how you ended up in, in San Francisco from Berlin. Okay, um, so I started launching this uh, online tool, TwitSpark, and allows teams within large enterprises to uh, efficiently follow up on customer support over Twitter. Um, and it started growing pretty rapidly. And then you, Ramon, from Beta Group, uh, introduced me to uh, Sebastian Dele from uh, San Francisco, who is also Belgian, um, who was more looking for new startups to fund and or to coach and to help. And because Belgium is pretty small, um, I had to grow and um, I was invited to go to San Francisco and things happened, things moved around and eventually I closed with a very good term seed investment round uh, only a few days ago. So you moved from uh, the idea to product to raising over a million and moving to the US mm -hmm. in six months. six months. Six months from idea? Oh, from, from idea it would be nine months. The initial idea was nine months, yeah. And it took you three three months to turn it into a product? Uh, yeah, three months to turn in the initial um, minimum, uh, minimum viral. viral product, yeah. Um, and then it immediately got picked up by a large um, advertisement agency, started using it for Volkswagen, which was <laughs> amazing. And then as soon as you start really seeing that there were a lot of larger enterprises who actually have this problem and needs to get solved, uh, things got in a very fast um, track and yeah so as of that point it took me six months to actually go from I wasn't even planning to get an investment so yeah it took me six months from getting from launching the initial version to being in San Francisco having a company set up and having everything set up and uh, getting an investment around and everything set up. Business plan written in a Sunday the, in the Sunday night. Business plan written in a Sunday evening. Yeah, <laughs> uh, financial plan included. Um, yeah, that's the thing. Um, when you're a startup, um, it's not important um, if you have everything well documented. You just need to understand that there's a problem you're solving. You need to get the first solution running and see if there's a market for it. And if there's no market for it, uh, fuck it, get, get something else, you know, start doing it, some, solve another problem uh, and just see if you can get enough traction. And uh, don't start thinking about major business plans and working weeks on it. Uh, just the simplest business plan is what's the problem, this is the solution. And all the numbers around it, will, you will figure it out during the months or the weeks after. And um, yeah, so as soon as I really started thinking about maybe doing an investment round, because a lot of people were like, okay, um, to grow, you really have to support it with some capital. Um, I, I uh, talked to Xavier Corman, who is like here from the uh, co-working space. And I was like, okay, it's this now uh, Friday evening. I need a business and financial plan on Monday. Can you help me? So he, yeah, he accepted and uh, he just helped me build an entire financial plan on Sunday evening in a few hours uh, and he's a really great guy. That's what I like about like, the beta group and the co-working space is when you're working alone or you're a, a sole founder, it's very good to, not, not necessarily the entire week, but just a few days a week at least, uh, just work from a place where there are a lot of like-minded people and not just stay in your own cocoon. Uh, and here in beta group, I just was constantly in contact with different profiles and different kind of people who could help me out. Uh, because the biggest problem that single founders or entrepreneurs have is that they can't delegate, uh, especially geeks. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, it was very interesting for me in here at Beta Group to actually just uh, learn to de delegate and get some people who could help me out with certain products. And I really feel that if I hadn't joined uh, Beta Group at first, I wouldn't have gotten any introductions and I wouldn't have gotten the network and I would still be in Belgium. Uh, and Better Group was one of the small but few steps in between that led to this goal and led to where I am right now. And you were telling me before about your experience with all this network of uh, mentors that you're building, of other entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. uh, how's that experience right now? <laughs> it's uh, very interesting to see that once you're at a certain level, uh, that this network of really high profile people start looking at you as your equal or as your someone who is interesting enough for them to talk to and that as soon as you really reach that level which really didn't feel too hard to reach but I also didn't know it was there but as soon as I reached it I started getting these crazy introductions and uh, 
your network started expanding so much because the people are really interested in talking to you and want to see what is possible and who you are and uh, yeah it's just amazing i never had anticipated that the network at this level would be so open and it would really help you out and um, i just thought that it would be very hard but it just seems that networking is in a level structure and uh, you just have to jump one level to the next and everything becomes a lot easier to actually contact people and get in touch with people um, and after all you have to look at it yourself when you when you when you have when you meet someone and you don't know him that well but he's doing some cool stuff you might introduce him to a few close friends of you like hey check it out but as soon as you start getting more impressed with someone or someone is doing some crazy stuff that's very cool it's easier for you to um, connect that person with your higher profile friends without looking like a total idiot uh, or making a fool of yourself because if after all um, networking is basically putting your own reputation on the line to promote someone to your own network and it's the same thing for like high profile networkers they just have to be very selective about the people that they, they uh, mm. um, yeah that they distribute to their network basically and what are the next steps for you and this Next steps for Twitspark, actually um, focusing a lot more on the product uh, because an investment round takes a lot of work even though it was a short one um, and really focusing on how can we provide more value and increase the value of the product in the next few months. Um, I recently um, got to know my new co-founder, someone who's joining the founding team, very cool guy. Um, setting up a sales team, hiring people, uh, and doing all of it in the next few months. So it will be a very fast and a very interesting ride. And uh, I hope I can make it as successful as possible. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can. I, you just have to be sure that you're doing it.